shut my helmet, and that was it. We were serious. That's an awesome feeling, I think, when you overcome a battle and you win. I love technology, and so I love seeing how far they've, they've come. It's fun for me to s stand back and look at it, even an R1 or look at a, a MotoGP bike, and I, and I have to smile because there's things on that bike still that I was the first guy to ever try, and that's upside down forks. I was the first guy to ever ride a GP bike with upside down forks, did that in Japan. And they were so stiff, they overpowered the chassis. And I was like, well, I don't know. I think it has potential, but right now, until you get the chassis, I don't know about those upside down forks, you know? And uh, at the same time, there's things that I look at that bike and go, I did that, I did that. I was the first one to try that. So, kind of fun. I think it's amazing with even, you know, with the bikes I've started on to what I'm on now. Even, even with the super bikes, when it comes to four years apart, you. You think back in you know 2005, 2004. I say back then, but it, th this was it can't get any cooler than this. And then four years down the road, I mean, you're you're on completely different stuff. I mean, it was back in '86, '87. There was probably a time where you were like, "This is as cool as it can get," and it just, I mean, look at it now. I know. Uh, I was talking to Wayne Rainey the other day and uh, we're pretty jealous of the equipment and the people that are working with you now because if we would have had that kind of effort, we think we could have won even more championships because they are really putting in an effort for MotoGP and um, we're actually pretty pissed off about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, I mean, that's what I've, that's what I've noticed with uh, in the last, you know, they've always been dedicated, there's been no doubt about it, but for me, the last between, uh, especially in MotoGP and then World Superbike last year, they took a big step to uh, to up that program, and, and MotoGP, I mean, the last five years, they have, it's been clear, you know, they, they decided they wanted to win, and uh, they've done whatever it takes, and I mean, they're pretty much dominating now, so it's, uh, it's pretty clear. For the street, the bikes are so aggressive, you know, too, the, just the, the way they come, you know, they're taking so much technology off the track, which is important, but with the new, you know, the new, the cross-plane crankshaft, it's been, it's such a, a high-performance bike and so much power, but then it's so smooth, you know, it's, for a while it was kind of hard to find the balance of having a big leader sport bike that was fun to ride on the street and easy to ride. And this one's a whole lot of, it's such a different bike being a four cylinder, but it's almost like a twin. I mean, it's a, it's the most different bike I've ever ridden and, and fun. I mean, I had a blast on it on the track and I've ridden the street bike model and, and uh, you know, it's, uh, it's hard to find that balance, but they've, they've done it pretty good. You know, uh, I asked for an R1 and they said at my age, you get a Vino, <laughs> which really pissed me off. <laughs> Uh, I mean, you know, that's uh, that's how things go, I yeah. guess. <laughs> yeah, that's the way it is. <laughs>